months on, on integration. I just want to draw your attention to a project we did quite recently, Alan and Overy, which is a new headquarters for a global lawyers firm. This is classic corporate art, page three. Here we were presented with, um, so this wasn't right at the beginning, it was still while Norman Foster was um, kind of putting the finishing touches to, I think it's called a shell and core, I'm not really quite sure on the phraseology. But we, we had, towards the end of that planning phase, as Pringle Brandon, who the interior architects got involved, we were brought in and presented with, you know, a classic architectural box with four huge atriums. What we did here was we didn't fight with the environment. We were presented with these grid-like atriums. And our challenge there was to actually integrate and enhance that without fighting with it. So different challenge. And here what we did is we actually used technology a lot. So the piece on the left is a wonderful light piece by the Jason Bruce Studio, which are a leading light-based studio in London. And this was an eight-story um, grid of programmable, light, addressable LED light bulbs. And basically as dawn came, you'd have a dawn kind of a color in the atrium. And as it got towards sunset, it might be sunset. If there was a lot of activity in the office or on the elevators, it would kind of buzz a bit. And you could program it to look at the weather, etc. So what it allowed was it enliven this given space. We couldn't change the space. The challenge was to make a fairly monotonous life for a lot of lawyers in, a, in top firms a little bit more interesting and a little bit more enlivened. And what happened is, and the second piece in the middle is actually an eight-story interactive flower display. So this is another company yeah, called no, Grey no, World, no, top no, practitioners no. in interactive kinetic work. And as, again, as dawn broke, the flowers all opened. They're all fire retardant material, and they all opened. As, as the it cl closed, it's dust. If it was oh, dark, right. they kind of half open. And if the lifts were going up and down, they gave you a nice. So, so basically, we were enlivening a given space. Um, so, so I think the point to make there is that um, we, we're not always in the privilege. You know, sometimes the architects we work with aren't brought in right at the beginning. They're brought in halfway through a project, or they're given an interior brief. And we don't have the luxury of having starting at the master plan. Our job is really to make the best of the situation we've got.